Okay, and, and hello to, to everybody who's joining virtually. Uh, I'm State Representative Austin Davis. It's, it's a privilege to be here with you this evening and, and bring greetings uh, on behalf of my running mate and colleague, Josh Shapiro, who's running for governor. And just to come here personally to ask for, for your support for both Josh and I uh, and the United ticket we're running on. You know, Josh hasn't been a stranger to Western Pennsylvania as Attorney General. I can tell you, uh, if we're lucky enough to have him, at, we're lucky to have him as our Democratic nominee, but if we're lucky enough to have him as our governor, uh, we're going to get somebody who takes on big fights and deliver work, delivers real results for the people of Pennsylvania. And you have to look no further for, for the UPMC Highmark battle that went on here in Western Pennsylvania. Josh stood up uh, and took, took on both those giants to make sure people in Western Pennsylvania had access to health coverage. Uh, that was an important fight uh, that he stood up on behalf of Western Pennsylvania. We've also seen him take on big fights uh, as it relates to the Catholic Church. Josh is, is somebody who doesn't shy away from taking on big issues and uh, I'm proud to be running with him to serve as his independent governor so that we can fight to create family sustained jobs here in Pennsylvania to ensure every child has access to a thorough and efficient education here in Pennsylvania and to make sure that we're creating ladders of opportunities for folks to join the middle class and live out the American dream here in Pennsylvania. Uh, and so I couldn't be more thrilled. Uh, many of you may know me as a legislator here in Allegheny County. I represented the Mon Valley region just across the river here for nearly five years now and served as the chairman. Uh, of the Allegheny County House Democratic Delegation of State Legislators. Uh, I believe, I believe uh, this is one of the most critical elections we've seen in Pennsylvania history. This gubernatorial race is gonna be the most important governor's race uh, in the country. Uh, and I think in order for Democrats to win, we should have a balanced ticket that's representative of the diversity of our Commonwealth. Uh, I believe both Josh Shapiro and I achieved that, both a geographically balanced ticket as well as a racially balanced ticket. And people have real lived experience uh, in our communities. I'm the proud son of a union bus driver and a hairdresser. Literally, my dad's driving a Port Authority bus today, and I'm a first-generation college graduate. I, I will always stand up for working-class folks because that's who I am, that's who I represent, and that's where I come from. And so I'm humbled to just ask for, for your support for both Josh and I uh, as we embark uh, on this primary and ask that Democrats come out of the primary united uh, behind a balanced ticket of Shapiro and Davis. Thank you. Yeah, so his uh, his question was uh, Josh's position on, on resources for police officers and shifting that burden. Look, I think Josh has been pretty clear. He does believe police officers do need more resources to carry out their job. We're, we ask police officers to do a lot in this Commonwealth. Quite frankly, some things that they shouldn't be doing. Um, and so I think one, we need to increase, Josh's vision will be we need to increase funding for mental health training, make sure that people are getting the supports and the services that they need so that they don't interact with law enforcement. We also need to make sure that we're supporting police officers and carrying out their, their duty to keep the public safe. That, that would be my response to that. Okay, that's not making me happy. I mean, sure, is there another question? Sure. I'll repeat it for you. Yeah. Um, Reggie, but yeah. mutual greenhouse gas emissions. Yes. Um, what are you guys as a team going to do to push that through? Yeah, so Reggie is right now going to go through. Um, I, as a member of the Pennsylvania House of Representatives, I voted for Reggie when it's coming for a bill. Josh has said he doesn't believe necessarily Reggie is the best direction. But he believes we need to upgrade our alternative energy portfolio standards uh, to include more renewable forms of energy to take uh, our energy development. We have a large energy sector here in Pennsylvania to take our renewable energy share. From right now, it's currently 8% up to 30% by 2030. Uh, that's a goal, and, and we're going to roll out a plan on that in the very near future. But that is the direction he'd like us to take. I think he'd like to see, you know. Reggie does do some benefit, some, some is, is beneficial in some ways, but I think we can get a lot more benefit from upgrading our, our alt, alternative energy portfolio standards to include more, more renewable sources of energy to include our energy share. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
and see the doctor out there. Yeah, so thanks for asking that. So just recently, I, um, as a state legislator, worked with Governor Wolf. We, as a member of the House Insurance Committee, we set up a state-based exchange here in Pennsylvania. I just helped implement an easy enrollment program uh, for people when they file their taxes to help connect people with the Obamacare system now add additional health care coverage. I'm proud to say we've implemented that, pro that program. Uh, and it's estimated to help connect up to 700,000 Pennsylvanians to affordable health care coverage. We need to continue to build on the Obamacare model that we have right now in Pennsylvania that, we, that has been proven to be successful. Um, and I think we're going to continue to build on that in the Shapiro Davis administration. That is something that we just did recently. I did as a legislator uh, and something I'm very proud of. And um, someone who drew up in the projects that is now a proud homeowner in the 14th Ward, I have to say, I have a sincere heart for affordable housing. Here in Pittsburgh and in small towns throughout the state, affordable housing is an issue. What can the state do to help create and sustain affordable housing for our community? Yeah, so, so the state has a really unique arm in PHFA that, that funds a lot of affordable housing developments here in the city of Pittsburgh as well as in our region. Uh, right now, the state is sitting on about $7 billion in, in ARP funding that needs to be driven out by 2024. I think that creates a real opportunity for us to put significant resources in, in affordable housing dollars. There are two primary issues that I, as I've traveled the Commonwealth that I've seen with housing. It, it's affordable, affordable housing is certainly an issue, but quality housing is another issue. Uh, we have some places like particularly districts like I represent the Mon Valley that have uh, high rates of affordable housing. You can buy it, but it's not a place where you would necessarily want to live. Uh, so we need to be investing resources to help rehab communities that haven't seen development that are still affordable, but uh, but haven't seen the, the growth in the building of homes that, that we need that we to keep track of the population. So I think we have a real opportunity. I think we're going to be rolling out a affordable housing plan in the next few weeks. So I would say stay tuned for that. Uh, but we have a real opportunity with the 